Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Danny. Today I'm going to be filming a Q&A for you guys. I'm back in my childhood bedroom in New Zealand. I've just gotten back from America and it feels really good to be home. So I thought I'd sit down and film a little video so you guys can get to know me a little better today. So as usual, I guess I have to say all the generic YouTuber stuff. So please like, subscribe and comment down below if you enjoy this video because I need you. So I've got a range of questions. I'm gonna start out with the ones about makeup and then from there go on to the kind of advice and more general questions. So the first question is, what is your favorite drugstore palette or palettes? At the moment, I've been absolutely loving this one right here by fellow YouTuber Carly and it's from BH Cosmetics. It just has like the most gorgeous shades. It's only $15 too, so can't go wrong with that. What is your favorite lipstick color? At the moment, I have been loving this one that I just picked up in LA. And this one is Blankety by MAC. It's just like super nourishing. I'm kind of getting over the really MAC lipsticks at the moment. They're just a little bit drying. So yeah, this one, my go-to. What's your current everyday makeup look? My current everyday makeup look is pretty much what I'm wearing right now, maybe a little bit lighter. So I'm really liking the lighter makeup look since it is summer in New Zealand right now. Um, and then I have to have my highlight and glow like always happening no matter what time of year. So I love that and just really basic simple eye, rosy, champagne, pinky kind of shades for blue eyes. So that's all I've done today and then just basic mascara. So nothing too special but this would be my go-to makeup look. And then just to finish it off I'll always just add a touch of like a light baby pink or neutral kind of lipstick to finish off the look. What is your most embarrassing moment? I honestly don't even know because so much shit has probably happened to me over the years because um, I'm just such a dork so I'm always embarrassing myself like on the daily but I would probably say one that was pretty up there was one day when I was walking to uni I was walking down Queen Street which if you don't know Auckland very well that is the biggest like most busiest street in New Zealand and I was wearing a dress it was like the first day back at uni and um I don't know but somehow the dress got like tucked into my underwear so you could fully see my butt and like my underwear and everything and I was walking right down the middle of the street and it was like a few minutes before someone tapped me on the shoulder and was like excuse me um yes are you doing it? I was like oh my god that was embarrassing but thank you to that lady who came and told me because if you didn't do that I don't know who else was gonna do that people are probably just laughing at me but yeah, so that I would say that was pretty pretty up there for being quite embarrassing. Thoughts on Donald Trump? China, 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 China. I've just started wearing makeup daily, and I'm getting lots of hate because I'm a boy. Do you also have any advice for me to come out? Okay, so firstly. You do you. If that makes you happy, and I bet you look incredible by the way, then just don't care at all what other people think. And as for advice to come out, I feel like just don't feel pressured. You feel ready, you feel comfortable, but most importantly, you feel safe in your environment. If you're really nervous about it, it's something that I kind of do when I'm a bit nervous about kind of really like important things that I have to say to people, is I'll actually like write it down in bullet points, just so you are kind of really confident and you know what you have to get out and what you want to say. I mean also I'd just say don't like hype it up to be a huge really really scary thing if it doesn't have to be. Nowadays pretty much everyone is going to be super super supportive and happy as long as you're happy. A few years ago one of my good friends came out as being gay and when she told me I was just like okay that's cool. It literally doesn't change anything. You like to be healthy or prefer to have junk food. I love being healthy. I've been eating a lot better lately and you know I'm feeling so much better because of it. If you could travel to any country in the world where would it be? Hands down right now the number one place I want to go, I'm even tempted, so tempted to go there right now, is Hawaii and I really want to go and do woofing over there. A video will also be coming up on woofing as well you guys. But also I really want to travel to Bali and do a turtle conservation project and I also really want to go to Thailand and Australia so 
those are my top places at the moment if you've ever had acne how did you clear it up and what is your daily skincare routine I've been using the body shop skincare for the longest time I don't even know how many years they're inspired by nature they're an ethical brand they're completely vegan and totally against animal testing and yes I did used to have acne and I still get the odd breakout I found their tea tree range really really good for acne prone skin and now I also use their aloe vera and seaweed skincare range as well so I'd highly highly recommend them I also love their skincare because it's just so natural and there's no like harsh nasty chemicals if you're someone that doesn't like a lot of fragrance all their stuff is just like super gentle on the skin if you could change anything about yourself what would it be I just want to be able to take more risks and just be more adventurous and in the moment and just kind of get out of my comfort zone and do things I wouldn't normally do another thing that I'd probably change about myself is just to like stop picking on myself so much like I feel like I'm always really judgmental about myself so be a little kinder to, to myself what is your favorite holiday tradition when I think of holidays I think of the summer so I'd say my favorite holiday tradition is being with family being by the ocean being by the beach and going camping if you had the chance to change the world would you I like this question and yeah like I totally would but I actually it's not just like, oh, if you had the chance. Everyone has the chance every single day of our lives. You don't need to have this big break to be able to change the world or do something incredible. You can do little things every single day, just like be kind to others and recycle. I don't know, but like, you know, make those little changes in your daily life to bring about positivity into the world. What is the weirdest date you've ever been on? Um, the weirdest date I've ever been on? Actually, I have done a story time on this, so that'll be linked down below um, if you want to hear about my Tinder date. Yeah. What is one thing that you can't live without? So I'd say my dogs. Whenever I'm away from my dogs, I get really sad. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if there'd be anything that I would change. I feel like New Zealand has to be one of the best countries in the world for growing up in. It's just so much fun, so peaceful, so safe. There's so many cool outdoor activities that you can do and I did heaps of that kind of stuff when I was younger. I don't think I would change that, yeah. Actually, one thing I just thought of, I kind of wish I was raised like on a vegan diet and just, I don't know, I reckon that'd be really cool. I would love to raise my children on a vegan lifestyle what would constitute a perfect day for you i would say the perfect day for me would have to be in summer because i just love the summer on a nice hot day eating delicious vegan food probably an acai bowl because i'm a basic bitch and i'll just say i'm um, going down hanging on the beach with some friends is what i also love to do as well so and i am actually going to do that today so yeah what makes you happy? Surrounding myself with good people and positive energy and eating great food is definitely what makes me happy and being out in nature. When should you lose your virginity? My answer to that is simply whenever you personally feel comfortable. You shouldn't let anyone pressure you into something. If in order to make someone happy you have to sleep with them then they're not the right person. It doesn't matter if all of your friends have already done it. It doesn't matter at all. I know it feels like a big deal in high school but a few years down the line like no one cares that like Sally slept with Bob and from math class like what? And she did that for everyone else like no one even remembers or cares about that now. Or if none of your friends have done it and you want to go and do it, then there's nothing stopping you. It's totally fine as well. Also, there's no such thing as a slut and slut shaming is so stupid. And yeah, it's your body, so just do what you want. Do what makes you happy. So that's the end of this week's Q&A. If you did enjoy, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give it a big thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a really great week. Um, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye!